expose you to all things English. And I remember our very first, my very first sort of encounter was when she invited me to a party. And it was an end summer's party. <laughs> I didn't stay long enough to find out what it was. <laughs> um, and then there were the Sunday bunches in Notting Hill, the second season. And then there were also, you know, the a uh, study break, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in Cornwall. And also our um, gap year type holidays across the globe. Uh, globe. And I got to know Sarah particularly well during our six weeks of, of, you know, on our very epic adventure across Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru. Um, Sarah, as many of you know, and as Sarah knows, she is a most wonderful, kind, caring, and generous person. Um, she is also very laid back and down to earth. A little bit stubborn and stroppy at times. Just female. Um, <laughs> 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 She's very determined and extremely efficient and knows precisely what she wants. Which leads me to the beautiful short story of how Sarah met Charlie and now Pete is a novel and a boy. As I mentioned earlier, Sarah met Charlie some corridor in law school. And it, I mean, Charlie wasn't hard to spot because I think it was in the middle of October. <laughs> <laughs> it was a skiing accident. Um, it took a couple of months of persistence on Sarah's part before Charlie succumbed, oh, <laughs> succumbed to the infatuation. <laughs> and when he did, it was at a very classy place called MASH. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything fell into place, like two pieces of a two pieces puzzle. <laughs> and, um, and I think their relationship was sort of further consolidated when when um, both abandoned their separate holidays in exotic parts of the world uh, with their friends, in Sarah's case, was me each other on the border of China and Mongolia. They didn't quite meet each other because they remained on different sides of the border, but that's... <laughs> anyway, two years down the line, Charlie popped the question. I think very, very rarely do you find two people who are so in love with each other and who sort of gel so naturally together and understand each other as if they were one and the same person. Sarah, I'm so happy that you found Charlie. And Charlie, you're one very lucky person. <laughs>